We're looking at the Best 360 Virtual Tour Enhancer FX. This is a plugin for Affinity Photo 2, and this allows you to edit your, your 360 photos all within Affinity Photo 2. You can adjust like brightness, sharpness, uh, white balance, and also remove you know your tripod feet within there, and you don't have to pay for monthly subscriptions like Lightroom and Photoshop. So it's just like a one one package, one time payment type of deal. So I'll just go through the workflow on that and just excuse my older computer. When I start to work with these files, it does get a little bit uh, slow running. So I have my Insta360 Studio here and I'm going to import the photos that I wanna do. And I'm using PureShot, which is gonna take a series of photos up to nine and then it, it it combines all of those at different exposures and that just lets your highlights look really good your shadows look really good so you basically would just select all those drag and drop them and i've already imported them here we have the hdr dng and then just a hdr your jpegs here and you can kind of look at the difference here let me just show you the difference so here's the jpeg and i think they both look really good for sure they look really good i think the colors uh, Insta360 does a good job. And then we have the uh, DNG raw file right here, which I think looks really good too. So when we export these, we're going to hit export, export 360 photo. And we're gonna click down here and instead of doing a merge photo, we're gonna do um, all exposure photos, DNG. So these are gonna be larger files, give you more um, information to edit and then we'll choose where we want them to go I have them going to this folder here called capital and I'll just hit start export and now we shall wait for this to export takes a little bit of time but we can watch them appear here all right once we have all those exported we can go to affinity photo and we will click file new hdr merge we're going to unclick all of these and click add that's when we're going to go and select our nine photos here we're going to drag and drop them click open and okay and i'll have to wait again for my computer to load all of these Okay, and this is after they have all been loaded, and I want to make sure I'm clicked on the actual picture. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove the tripod feet, and I'll go down to Live Projection, and right here, click this option. And now I will, my computer is going to start to lag now because I'm screen recording, and it just uh, has a hard time keeping up. So we're going to go over here to the brush and we're gonna select in painting brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the tripod feet. I could have probably made that brush a little bit smaller, but that'll do the trick. And once that has been removed, I'm gonna go to layer and live projection, remove live projection. Zoom back out here. And now, once you have the Best 360 Virtual Tour Enhancer FX installed, the plugin, it'll be right over here. And you're just going to go ahead and click that. You may have to click that twice. Sometimes I click it twice and it pulls up twice. Um, and then you'll just go ahead and delete one. Now, this is going to have some presets. And it does a really good job at the presets and what stuff looks like um, with their presets. But you can go in and adjust everything from sharpening if you want to make it sharper um, you can add some denoiser or get rid of some noise uh, if you want to turn down like the saturation you can uh, turn down the saturation and I'll just I'll give it a second because my computer like I said it's running slow there we go got rid of some of the saturation there um, adjust the contrast you can use do your own curves if I hit reset here but I honestly think they do a pretty good job at um, what their presets they do let's kind of bring down those just a hair uh, defringing so if you had any fringing going on around your windows or whatnot you can remove that and 
can adjust your white balance. But honestly, I think they do a really good job at, let's see, let's go here. I'm gonna delete that. So this is what we had. And then look at their presets. Looks pretty good. So I'll just go up here to File, Export. We'll export it as a JPEG, quality 100. Come on, computer. I don't need to see a preview. Can I just hit export? Cool, I can. We're gonna save it to the desktop. Hit save. Once we have that exported, we can open up something like the GoPro VR player, which is a free download, allows you to view uh, your 360 photos. Go ahead and open that up, select files. And we'll drag and drop that in there. And then we can view the photo. Just like that.